does HelloFresh avoid the fate of Blue Apron? Well, that's the big question, Emily. And the thing is that they really have to distance themselves from the Blue Apron narrative. Blue Apron, as you know, since they listed in June, their shares have fallen about 50%. And they've seen customers declining. They've had to do a restructure. They've had to cut 6% of their workforce. So things aren't going very well for them at all. Um, luckily for HelloFresh, they're doing pretty well. Um, you know, in the, in the third quarter, their sales were about 143 million euros in the US, which was up from 120 million in the previous quarter. And they're trying to sort of really go for Blue Apron and target them. And the CEO, Dominic Richter, has come out and said that they'll probably over take Blue Apron in the US um, sort of by about the third or fourth quarter of next year. What about the business model sets HelloFresh apart from Blue Apron where uh, let's say they may not fall victim to the same things that have uh, that has caused caused Blue Apron to stumble? I think what they're relying on really is their customer base that at the moment they've got 1.3 million active customers and that's that's really their strength they're in 10 markets um, they're obviously powering ahead in the US um, but as you say I mean look like Blue Apron as well they're, they're not profitable yet um, so they're really relying on those sales to to get up there and how much of a threat is the Amazon factor <laughs> Emily, as you know, the Amazon factor is a threat to everything from retail and grocery to pharmacy, any any industry you can think of, really. And and for HelloFresh, it's a, it's the same. Um, and, you know, Blue Apron really is down a lot because of Amazon's deal with Whole Foods. I mean, that really affected investor sentiment towards that stock. And how people adapt to Amazon uh, in this new world is really going to be the question. Uh, what are we looking ahead to when it comes to the IPO market the, this year? We've seen many, you know, lukewarm, you know, failures, if, if you will, and we've seen a few scattered success stories. Yeah, I mean, Snap and Blue Apron are two uh, well-noted failures, I guess. We've seen mm -hmm. a few good ones. Uh, in Europe, the investors have been really receptive to IPOs. Already this quarter, there have been 17 of them. Uh, and the European market is running a little bit uh, ahead of the US market. But this quarter, they are expected to pick up. Um, but really, investors are looking for, the, for growth stories. And as we know, there isn't a lot of growth to be found um, in, the stock in stock markets globally. So if HelloFresh can prove that it, it can actually generate some earnings as well as its sales, I'm sure it will do well.